biodiversity, landscape-based urban development, and climate adaptation design. These are all themes which fall under the scope of landscape architecture at TU Delft. This master track finds itself at the intersection of our built and unbuilt environments. What does it mean to be a part of this programme? Who is it for? And where will you work after graduation? Let's get some answers from the people involved. Starting with Professor Eric Loughton. Could you introduce us to the track? Landscape architecture is a spatial design discipline that covers many different levels of scale and complexity. It focuses on the quality of green outdoor areas. Landscape architects transform anonymous spaces into specific places, serving the hidden characteristics of the land. Private gardens, public parks, rural territories and urbanized regions. It takes the potential of natural processes as a starting point of creating sustainable, attractive landscapes for all living creatures, including people. Landscape architecture is a rapidly emancipating profession because it claims to be able to find well-balanced solutions for ongoing modification and transformation of our collective topography that derive from climate change, biodiversity challenges, availability of fresh water and food, and other sustainable development goals. We study the interaction between people and nature to create a better living environment for all. Thank you for introducing us, Eric. René van der Velde is an Associate Professor of Landscape Architecture who combines teaching and research activities on urban forestry as a landscape. René, could you tell us something about the challenges tackled in the track? Yes, we have a number of challenges which landscape architects can help us with in cities. Uh, to start with, we're talking about um, growing cities and how to keep them livable uh, with green spaces. We've got issues about uh, climate change and the energy transition towards circularity. We've got issues about biodiversity loss, trying to keep natural uh, environments in cities. And we've got environmental problems like heat stress and extreme weather events and rainfall and drought. And one of the projects behind us here, which we're looking at at the faculty, is a research project into how trees can help us cool cities and looking at the performances of different species and also the way different configurations can cool down our cities and make them livable. As a student here uh, at the Master Track Landscape Architecture, you'll get involved in research during your education. They're integrated together. So while you're studying, you'll get involved in projects which tutors and lecturers and researchers are involved in, uh, and you'll be doing those things together. Particularly in the second year, in the graduation lab, uh, you can choose a different topic and you'll get involved with those researchers uh, in carrying out research, uh, reporting on it, uh, developing data, uh, and applying it in your own project. Thanks for highlighting some key issues and approaches, René. But how is this integrated research and education structured? Eric, could you expand on this? We offer a two-year full-time study program that concentrates on the capacity to design a landscape that does not yet exist. The curriculum enables students to develop both the necessary fundamental skills that are recognized worldwide as specific for the discipline of landscape architecture, as well as the opportunity to build up a personal, professional profile. That is why we make a clear distinction between the first and the second year. The first master year functions as a sort of boosting equalizer for all students that come from all over the world to study landscape architecture in Delft. We take you through a series of design tasks accompanied by theory courses that confront you with the broadness and characteristics of our approach. In the second year, you can choose a so-called graduation lab in which you can individually elaborate a specific landscape challenge in an area that you might select. The labs relate explicitly to the research portfolio of the section of landscape architecture here at Delft. Therefore, you will be asked to not only develop a landscape design, but also to produce a thesis that builds on a theoretical foundation and contains a reflection to your design. Thank you, Eric. With the first year dedicated to broadening knowledge and the second to deepening it, what is it actually like to experience this programme? Let's hear from some of our students, Aneshka and Leah. Why did you choose this programme and how are you finding it? 
I came from the Czech Republic. I decided to go to the Netherlands, where I believe there is very uh, long tradition and a landscape architecture. After all, it's a man-made landscape, and I believe that I could learn for the master how I can deal with the topic related to the landscape and the climate change. What about you, Leia? What I really like about landscape architecture and why I decided to study it is its diversity in scales. You can work on anything from a small flower pot in a garden to a whole country or a whole landscape. And that is also something that I want to incorporate into my work later. Right now I plan on working for a landscape architecture office in the Netherlands, both on small scale projects and on large scale projects. Because uh, the landscape architecture track is much more smaller than the architecture, you feel almost as uh, with the family. It's really friendly and we spend most of the time together, we travel together. Uh, you can also be part of the Students' Association, which will allow you to do a lot of activities. What I really like about Delft is how quaint and small it is, um, how nice the inner city is to just walk around, have a coffee, but at the same time how close it is to bigger cities such as Rotterdam and The Hague and all its cultural diversity there, the parks, the museums, the bars and the clubs. That all sounds very interesting, but where do you end up after graduating? Rapper is an alumna from the programme who currently works at Okra Landscape Architects. Rapper, can you tell us why you chose this track and why you decided to stay in the Netherlands afterwards? I studied my bachelor in architecture and then before I decided to come to TU Delft I was working in the, in the landscape office in Bangkok, Thailand. So I came across the course of TU Delft which is highlighting the idea of uh, research by design and also together with the water system, Dutch water system in general which I found it super interesting. So I decided to join the course. In Thailand, where I came from, we have a lot of flooding problem and water issue. Actually, there's uh, so many times that uh, the idea of dike system of the Dutch has been uh, studied and trying to be established in Thailand. But of course, the contexts are totally different. So I think it's better to come here to learn from the master. During my study in TU Delft, uh, we have so many field trips. Actually, we went out every week to see the landscape uh, in, in different contexts in the Netherlands. And uh, one of the places that I'm really impressed, it's a dike in Dune in Katwijk, which is designed by Okra. And I, I decided that, okay, really one day I, I have to come to work at this office. Uh, so yeah, here I am. Looks like a great place to put what you learned into practice, rapper. Now back to Eric for some final words. If you feel positively challenged now by the idea to be able to adapt our collective landscape to new societal, climatic, ecological or other spatial needs, if you're interested to know more about people's relationship to nature, if you want to develop your design skills in several levels of scale and complexity, if you're eager to find out how landscape values have become an important factor in architecture, urban development, civil engineering, then join us. If this track sounds like something for you, you can find out more by attending one of our master events, contacting our study association POLIS or visiting our website. <laughs>